My name is Monika, and I had to abort all five of my daughters. Hello, my name is Jaya, and I was trafficked. My name is Anjali, and I was raped. My life before the incident wasn't easy. My family was very excited for my marriage. My husband wanted a male child. It took some time for me to finally become pregnant. My family was excited for our coming child. Then, the ultrasound revealed that it was a girl. Before I was trafficked, I had so many dreams. I wanted to become a doctor, but my mother was very unhappy about it. She said I had to be a good wife. I was 13 when my family found me a husband. I didn't like him at all. He was 36 and very cruel. When he found out that my family wouldn't give him as much dowry as he wished, he sold me to a brothel. My life before the incident was not hard, but it was definitely not easy. I had three brothers and they all went to school, while I just stayed at home and cleaned the house. I always followed our home rules. Don't go out at night, and the boys always go first. I'll ne I was never happy, and one day I decided to break the rules. I went outside after dark. I really wish I had. I was only 17 when I first got pregnant. My husband and I were very excited when we first went to the hospital for an ultrasound. I was six months pregnant. My doctor gave me a shot, so I went unconscious. My husband and I were very scared, but when I woke up, I was no longer pregnant. My husband looked at my face. I was crying because I wanted a child regardless if it was a girl. The doctor said it was a girl, and that was it. The same thing happened five times. Every day, I must face the shame of my own husband not protecting me from those men. That my husband sold me here in the first place. My dreams were shattered. Now I can't even leave. The brothel owner keeps me on drugs so I can't escape. I thought it would be cool if I broke my family's rules. I never understood why my brothers could go at night and I could not. So I snuck out of my home at 10 p.m. But when I got outside, I had nowhere to go. I decided I would walk over to the market. But on my way there, I noticed a man was following me. He called out, hey little girl, come here. He was obviously drunk so I tried to run away, but he was faster. He grabbed my arm and pulled me away, and as I screamed, no one ever came to help me. My family doesn't look at me the same way as they did before. I keep praying that I'll have a son, but I never do. I get constant looks of disgust from everyone in my village. I'm not allowed to leave my house because my family doesn't want people to see me. I'm ashamed to them. My mother-in-law, she thinks I'm cursed. I now can't even leave the brothel. If I ever did and the villagers found out, I'd be stigmatized. Nobody wants a prostitute in the village. It doesn't matter that I had no choice in this matter. To them, I'm just another good-for-nothing piece of trash, trying to sway the woman's husband away. I thought my family loved me. I thought they'd do anything for me, but now I know that was a lie. After the junk man left me alone in an abandoned alley, no one came to help. When the sun rose the next morning, an old lady found me and took me home. When I finally got home, my family hadn't even realized I'd left the house. We would have been much happier if this hadn't happened. Why couldn't they just have a son? It would put a halt to all the beatings. My own father tried to set me on fire. I wish I wasn't cursed. I would be able to leave my house again. I'd be able to see my friends again have a job again. I would be free, but no, just because I had a daughter. If only I stood to my dreams when my family forced me to marry my husband, I would have never had to suffer. Sometimes I wish I was stronger and that I could follow my heart, but I never stood a chance. I had dreams. I wanted to be a writer. I wanted to travel the world and write about what I saw. I wanted a family. I wanted to be able to drop my children off at school. I wanted to read them a bedtime story and kiss them goodnight. But that will never happen. Now I'm not pure. Now I'm cursed. Just because our stories might be fake doesn't mean these things don't happen every day. The truth is often worse than we believe. Crimes against women aren't a joke, so don't make it.